What's going on everybody? This is Fry. So today we are doing the huge giganticus uh, uh, Really a shot at a competitive leap deck. I really like the one where you start off with teleporting imps uh, It definitely had its weaknesses in terms of the early game So we're gonna actually be going with more like a conjure leap sort of strategy uh, running interdimensional on one really good to play um, the transformation station on two you can also then uh, they'll turn into a three cost card into a four cost card You can also a good card to leap uh, Because really it's a one cost card that for a leap you can turn it now into a random four Which is very very nice Also the cards that you conjure from space time not only is this a threat that they're gonna have to deal with um, So sort of as a control card in that sense The uh, space time is also going to conjure you cards that cost one less You're gonna play them for less when you leap them Let's say a three cost card you're playing for two It still leaps into a four cost card for example uh, this will be a good control card if they play just a dry one drop on the field even if you don't control it stick this in front of it This will almost always trade with it and then give you two more imps to clog other lanes in the field running the pogo yeti mug These are all actually very good cards to leap themselves. You know, you can get that value It'll take a little bit of damage They've done their active abilities with the yeti and the pogo and then you can leap them into a card that costs more get even more stats um, the space time on two Raptor on three uh, again This can be used just as a turn three control card, but also is a very powerful card in its own right uh, This will grow you're gonna bounce things in front of it using the pogo You can also use the laser base alpha. I, I went with two leap stations and two laser base alphas I just feel like this was a really important part of the competitive HG Pogo Yeti mug deck that I made before in order to just activate and be able to hit face They're also running Bonus attacks You're running like a lot of I hope this isn't gonna be too much like with all the bonus attacks and all the lasers and the leaps uh, Maybe I'll have to cut some of these and put in some more tempo. I think in the meantime this deck should be okay. Hope you guys enjoy Let's get into it I don't think like the, the it's too much RNG base in terms of the win condition like turning your five drops after you've gone value They've made a good trade turning them to a sick heal run like there's not a whole lot that goes wrong. Obviously, in certain situations, certain cards will be better. But that's anyway, whatever you, other card you would have drawn, drawn, you know? Or whatever situation you're in. I'll do normal bets today if you think the stack will go at least to 8 and 2, but yes, and if not, but no. L voting starts right now. This should be fine. I'm going to play this on 2 just because I don't like it getting supered on 1. I'd rather get very blessed, eh? Oh, bounce. Uh, I think we still have to play around cycle cap, so I'm probably gonna just play space time again instead of the raptor. Question is, do I commit this now? Coming up on turn four. This will just conjure like two cards and really weaken this lane. We also do have the Yeti. You don't have to use this skin together with the Yeti, but maybe that'll convince us not to. They'll just pass here. Keep playing around the plan of the grapes. You can run this in the in cycle camp. This actually makes this lane win a trade too, so this should be worth it now. Can't fall too far behind playing around playing with the grapes. I think we're actually doing pretty well here. So this costs one now. This will cost zero. Thank you to Pace Pecoyo. Welcome to the Primoy with that Prime sub. 
So it would be nice to play... I think the laser is just going to be fine. Freeze laser. Uh, we can... We can develop the zero cost card. The one cost laser base up. But we don't really have to bonus attack quite yet. That'll be better next turn after we play a second yeah. We can also develop this environment. So we actually have two environments to play this turn. Hilarious. Whichever one just does more damage. Molecule. Uh, freezing. Um, so this is interesting. I think I'm gonna kill this lane with this laser. We could go face for eight here. Could also go face for five. This is just really dangerous, and we also don't want him healing too much. This laser is probably correct here. I think we're just going to cut our losses, because right now, unless he has another... Even if he has another molecule, let's see what comes out of this. It's kind of cool. Actually, that hitting face for a 6 and dying here, I think, is good. This will just prevent 6 damage coming in from the Ragnaros. I'm pretty sure that's correct. So it'll just be Yeti and... Uh, I cost zero, which is nice. Another Yeti. So it's gonna be Yeti, bonus attack. Should the Yeti go here? Probably. Also, if he plays an environment, then it's just three, which is cool. Dance Boogaloo deck. Let's just look up on YouTube. Prime up Dance Boogaloo. Let's see what I have there. I should have one with like Headhunter as a finisher there. I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, that two damage was always gonna kill that Yeti. It's okay. Right, so let's take the stronger one. Is this worth a bonus attack? This usually this this bonus attack usually just procs the block, and five and three doesn't really do anything. So I think we just wait one more turn on this. Uh, we'll put a yeti here and then bonus attack after we proc the block. It's gotta be correct. We can also put the M throwing up here, which is nice. Hi, Fry. How are you? Thank you, Schmuggledoink. Welcome to the Frymly for eight months. <laughs> Welcome to the Frymly for eight months. You got frozen. So this lives. Uh, okay, so it's just five and two. Blind. So we'll win in lane one, kind of win in three, two. Welcome all the new people. It's cool, Twitch shows me who's a new viewer now. It's just neat. <laughs> this will actually hunt. And turn to a four. That is... Definitely lethal. No, 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 no. Doesn't matter which one. All right, one and zero. Should have gone in three and then listened to it. <laughs> Bruh. Meep stand for is mid leap. Mid range. It's mid range with the Pogietti mug. Loud mouth.
which cards will actually answer this? Nothing really. That's... Okay. Still even trance. A little bit awkward. <coughs> Uh, this and teleportation station. Teleporting this in next turn. This looks really good. Bro. It's actually kind of neat to have this 1-1 one, one now, because he has to like, go after it and it'll stall him a turn. This looks like an aggro Wall Knight deck. Oh no, it looks like Package Wall Knight from the other day. I just played this actually in stream with the photosynthesizers. I guess I wasn't running Ice for them. Or maybe he's running that. I was considering it. Maybe he's running that instead of Shamrock. Who knows? Uh, this should be fine. It'll just take him. Once we get to turn 5, we should be able to get, get ahead pretty easily. It just means he also has two things he has to deal with right now. So this just continually giving us teleports is going to make the card advantage situation a little out of control. Photosynthesize your sound is so satisfying. Bro, okay. This could really hurt if he plays like an Astrocado or something. At least we can freeze one of them. So this actually lives, so that's a 4-3 that killed a car. Huge value from the Vampire there. <sighs> uh, I think we're doing excellent. Very, very good. Wow. Another, um... Another Schmuggle Doink. Am I sick? Yeah, maybe. Probably just mentally ill. For real. It's just gonna pass. You're annoying. Uh, interesting. I don't know if it's gonna really do much. We're doing so much damage here. It should be down to one. Let's see Kelly rolls. It's okay. This is neither leap or a uh, bonus or anything. <laughs> Yeti mug, love it. Gotta love it. Super. I think this environment would have been nice. The mug is actually here, which is nice. Do you want the mug to live and just take the five damage? It's probably worth it. Maybe this is an emotional play because I don't want one of these freezes. Like freezing these two, the second freeze goes to waste, except that it buffs our cards. I think this is correct though. It keeps our guys around. Obviously we're out of uh I'm guessing it's not running Doom Shroom. Um We can leap already. He's spending a leap here for a card. I feel like these are pretty strong. I'm gonna leap this one. Let's see what we get. Shark. Gargolith is kinda cool. Um, this just makes a, a guy that does more than five damage, so we can actually put the laser and the bonus attack here anyway. So it's going to be... Oh, I don't think Pogo, because we want to be able to play these two. Uh, I think it's going to be like this. Should be able to win with a laser bonus attack. Love this combo. So strong. <laughs> it's the pumpkin shell on the... Is another one? One more. <laughs> Ah, yeah, so this will put him away. BM value. 
Let's go excavator. I am. Easy. Get frozen. Well, that was fun. So far, so good. Thank you, TP744. That's for two months. Really appreciate it. kind of has to deal with this. I like the 3-4. This will be fun. Ligma. Okay. Bean. Uh, HG against beans. Not a great... Not good thing. Uh, this hand also, it's like once our raptor died, it started becoming sad. Uh, let's look at one of these. Okay. I just need some tempo, and this is not what we needed. Okay. Uh, I guess I'm leaping this one. That's a cowboy. That is a cowboy. Oh my gosh, this could clear his field. If we can get some lucky blocks. Oh, come on. Love the streams, man. Don't, don't, don't Kelly roll me. I, I need to one break this game. HG against beans. Watch him get super now, too. Freeze. It's just as good. Thank you. So what's just happened here? Strongman Peen, subscribe, welcome to the primary. What else happened? Did someone donate? Someone must have donated just now. It is... Who was it? Out of my way. It was TP744, donated $15. Jeez. Thank you so much. I got some General City up in here. Let's go. I'll definitely take it. No, I think I'm just doing this. And he gets the freeze, which is nice. I'd love for the cowboy to end up here. Easy. Easy. We can freeze this too. <coughs> Rather the interdimensional one. Yeah. Okay. So if we freeze right now, we're going to be doing 11, which sets up, it'll kill, then the cowboy dies. Um, we can also do... Huh. The question is, what lane do we freeze in? Like, freezing it in 3 will make us do 11 damage to his face. It also clears this admiral. It also makes this guy live, which means we can bonus it. I mean, he's probably not going to be able to do 2 damage to this anyway, so we could probably bonus it regardless. Um, is the cowboy living good here? We'll do three, three, six. We'll be down to eight. Just makes us a little bit awkward. But is the cowboy living a good thing? It's an extra card. I think this is correct. We'll let the cowboy trade against these two. 
It's more damage. It's more damage. <laughs> the cowboy would have been a 3-4 in the water, though. This game just feels a little bit too slow since we have very limited resources in our hand. Like, if we had a lot of tempo in our hands, um, maybe I'd be... I'd, I'd, I wouldn't be in such a rush. I don't know if that's the right mindset. Uh, so the laser kills that, we also have a bonus, which is nice. It also makes another guy. I'll probably bonus first, and try to just roll that three. Not roll that three, I mean. I think we're fine here. I should just win. And otherwise, opponent block got super, uh, we would have kind of been screwed. <laughs> well, no. that would have been very sad. All right, so we beat a bean deck with HG. I'll take it. Mug was a four cost two two to be viable. I don't know. That seems a little bit too good at five five. Maybe just make it cost six a uh, Pogo Yeti mug. It probably would be worth it to run uh, at us as a six in this deck, for example. Just six cost five five. Go get some early game. This should be okay. You don't need a one. That's nice. Would I run this competitively? That's kind of what we're finding out, you know? Um, I think I'm gonna play around Scorch. Because this, you know, having one attack makes it Obviously a lot better than having zero. I know we have environments. And... So the Pogo should be able to, to take care of this. I think I'm going to save the bonus attack. And the loop. Survey says. Ah, exactly what we needed, another environment. The three cost Pogo, like he can play a very big card. Which just gets insta bounce, and then the two, you know, then the twin sunflower dies too. So this is like kind of a two for one in tempo, a and a one for one in just a one for zero actually in value. So keeps the two two on the field. It's a fig. Goodbye, fig. No one even liked you in the first place. This is conjuring us another card. Can I get a non-environment? Oh, there's a four-cost Yeti on a curve. Let's go. <laughs> what the heck? He's going to just play this fig again. I'm kind of liking the turn four Yeti, turn five Yeti. This is looking good. That between the HG Super and the space time conjuring a Yeti, this curve is kind of stupid. Kind of stupid. I guess we did burn a brain the other turn on turn two, but... It's all good. Okay. Okay. He really didn't like that pogo. Hey, we played around Scorch. Congratulations. You are a Super Smash Bro. <laughs> super Smash Bro. <laughs> Just sounds kind of gay. That's all I'm trying to say. A little bit. <sighs> One time I dated a trans man, and he called us the Super Smash Bros. I know that sounds like a one-liner, but it's true. It's, it is true. Oh, look at my face here. We're at 20 health. 
I got some health to spare. It's a fig. It's a... It's a freaking fig. So, I think we're gonna mug next turn anyway, so let's just prevent face damage. Oh yeah, this dies. Nice. Nice! Okay, so the... He can get a miracle from this fig, maybe. That's pretty good. Two costs. Power flower. I'm not gay, I just think gender is stupid. In general. Gender expectations. Or any expectations for that matter. Alright, that's a good mug. <sighs> Guys, grow up. Making a joke doesn't mean that you hate that group of people, okay? <clears throat> Grow up before I throw up. What are we freezing here? I don't know what's going on. Do I leap something? Let's see if we can get the uh, the coffee. <laughs> I don't know. Is this a good leap? Oh yes. Only uh, oh, that's pretty good gas giant. It activates damage here. Uh, the fig is gonna go crazy though. The fig is gonna be insane. <laughs> okay, so here's number one. We're gonna have uh, four more coming up. Oh no. Oh no! Okay, here's number one. Okay, uh, oh, three more. All right, there's number one. Onion rings, great. Oh, that's that's gonna that's gonna play out just well. Okay, that's garbage. And then he'll do himself. Cool beans. That would be cool if we got fake cool bean. Freeze a gravestone somehow because he teleported it in. And then Crow Yeti just wins. That would be awesome. So we just have environment and bonus attack. We also have five damage coming in from the gas giant, which is cool. Bro! <laughs> the 4-4. Four four. Let's go. Boots with the burn. So I just try to bonus him in this? We have a two-thirds of a chance of just winning, but the other thing, I mean, we're getting field clear, but we have obviously a huge card advantage. It also prevents them, right? This one doesn't actually, because if this hits, kind of screwed. It's it's a little bit awkward, but I think this is the play. Um, I guess we can also play this card. So it... Ha! <laughs> nice! Nice. This usually wins. <sighs> yeah, it's like saying if you make a joke about cars, you hate cars. It's not true. If you make a joke about Americans, these mean you hate Americans. Don't stop being stupid, guy. Actually, do this play. I think so. Navy bean, bean counter, and rescue rush. I'm 
We need a lift. It just creates a whole lane of problems. I don't have to teleport. I can buff Raptor and stuff. I'm freezing that is so good. Wow, so the pogo makes us just do four. Hopefully we don't Cali roll here. That's fine. Oh, this looks pretty good. It actually grows twice too, so this should do six unless he, I don't know, lawn mows it. Okay. 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 Could you play a card, please, instead of just mowing the lawn? Boring. Wow. And a neat. Yeet. Not yeet, actually. Just neat. So he gets two. He get two of them. That's counterintuitive. It's gotta be mug. Mug for the value. So we've got Pogo, then Yeti, then Mug, then him. Pogo, Yeti, Mug. Oh, yeah. Pogo, Yeti, Mug, Imp. Pogo, Yeti. Pogo, Yeti, Mug. Uh, this one, I guess. It just means we're not doing any damage this turn, though. Maybe that was stupid. I mean, we're doing one. It just sort of stunted him, but that probably wasn't smart. Probably should have gone face. I'll definitely burn a teleport right away today. Okay, that helps. Now we got all kinds of stuff going on up here. So we need as a bonus attack. It just makes it he doesn't have all these snacks though. So. Oh, so this strikes me. The man <coughs> needs to catch up. Goodbye. So we could laser here, but what fun would that be? I think instead we need a leap. Fairly certain. Maybe I should just leap environment though. Okay, at the end of the day, this this does the 12 damage we need. There we go. Big time leaps. He has a choice of what's a goat slash mog right now. Oh. Weed whack. Feels bad, man. Get the preemptive imp in line five. Aha! It's Fabio P. Undying fairies. We are officially milled. We are officially unmilled. Mirror not planet of the graves. I've tried that before. Bro, don't be stupid, bro. Play rather than the good play. 
I don't really know what to do right now. <coughs> Burn teleports. Like your life depends on it. Hopefully we'll just get a plank walker and make up all this lost time. Oh, oh he's melt? I feel like we might have missed lethal there. Imagine I would have bounced this. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Bruh. Oh, I don't know what to do. They're so very milled. That was stupid. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> bro. Why you gotta do me like that, bro? I still proc the block, so that's the good news. Oh, we have seven. Four, seven, four, no. Um. I kill you. You're evil. Mr. Grinch. Die. Swabby is too good. Come on. Yes, free teleports. <sighs> I, I think we're gonna pull lethal here, just my opinion. It's gonna cornucopia or something stupid like that. We have teleports, we have everything we need here. <laughs> nice dragon, bro. Nice dragon. Can't do anything, but that is fine. Uh, probably the strike through is better than the leap. Huh? Die. Swabby's gonna lead us to victory. Uh, eight, nine, ten. Uh, <coughs> It's like literally guaranteed. Like literally. Literal. Swabby's gonna win. Swabby's gonna win the game. Let's go, Swabby. Swabby OP, guys. Swabby for the win. For the win. And we're rank 49. Nice. It's so many leaps. Bro. Is it too much? Yeah. That's a good hand. That's what I call a good hand. Wonder if we play around the shrinking violet. What can we do? So I think this is gonna go here. This is gonna go here. So the MVP is correct.
That looks like a good hand. This hand's gonna be a good hand. Hand's gonna be a good hand. Uh. Bruh. At least we can get a like a free imp. Ooh. I think I'll take it. I kinda wanna take this out too. Uh the, the Scorch became very sad. I, I forgot to play around Scorch. I should have played this on the ground in the Sun Heights. But luckily. They really wanted to play this. Oh, Everything is going to be Gucci here. But it turns out this was actually fine. It's gonna prevent us from conjuring cards, but yeah. It's called the price of business. So three, four, or five. She. Maybe I'll teleport this in instead. Uh, I think I'll do that later. Bro. Bro. Come on, lab mouth. <coughs> Gosh, the scorches. The Scorch is harsh. I will not be able to survive this. No! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're screwed. Alright. Alright. This is how we get back into this game here. It happens to be this. This isn't very good. Maybe I should just... Maybe I'll do this first. I think this trading into his heights lane is fine here. We can freeze the cucumber, yeah. Maybe I'll have a team up. He's just conjuring all these legendaries. I have to put an end to this. <laughs> Bro! Make it stop. So this actually survives and conjures another card. I think we're doing just fine here. Except that we're procking this block about 80 times. Eesh. Okay, that's fine. Shamsilla has no way of dealing with Mug either. Feels bad, man. Plus we get a freeze, plus we get a conjure, plus this heals. Yeah, this didn't get hit though. Wow, we got an amphibious minion? Like, seriously. You can actually teleport this in next turn. It's deadly too. Okay, so we rolled a one. I think teleport um teleport walrus is gonna be lethal. Unless he pulls some stupid play here. I think Walrus should have Deadly anyway. <laughs> Tonight's gonna be a good night. Tonight's gonna be guaranteed lethal with Amphibious Deadly Walrus? With the teleport? 
With the chicken strips? Let's go. Yay, he has so many cards. Or not. Get him, Lars. Who knew that the, this living and then conjuring us another card would win us the game? With one copy of a legendary and superior you can't do much, that's not true. Adding one Triceratops to an otherwise strong tempo deck is huge. Uh, it depends which one. I feel like Pine Clone's one that, like, if you're going to build put Pine Clone, you kind of have to build the deck around it. There's a couple decks with, like, two Pine Clones. But I used to think that was a good idea. I really have changed my mind about that. Um, but, on the other hand... Um, there's a lot of legendaries, adding one Cobb Cannon, one Astrocado to your aggro decks. Uh, a, a lot of times these can significantly just that one card upgrade your deck, you know? Maybe Cobb Cannon's not the greatest example. But... You know what I'm saying, guys. I don't know which specific legendaries you're talking about, I'm just kind of peeking over in the chat. This will just be here to conjure things. Uh, maybe this was better. Probably saving the freeze for later. That's okay. <coughs> so it's a control deck. Oh, duh. <laughs> oh no, he's from Korea. We're gonna lose. Guys! That's how it works. I feel like we're gonna get blockbusted to the Ice Age here. I wonder if we play around Cuke. We probably should. Cuke <laughs> for next turn. can do a lot of damage this turn. Play the environment, do it! Do it! It's a 4 4. That was it. That was it, eh? Okay, so it, probably the next two shots hit. So I'm gonna, okay, instead of going really greedy, we can actually hit him three times with this. I'm gonna do this play. It also launches this into the. Terrible. Absolutely horrific. But it will proc the block, which is usually what it does anyway. Then we'll use this bonus attack after we've proc this block. Oops. The third one, the third five would have done zero, and then we just would have done one, so... Definitely better to save this. <coughs> Probably continuing to conjure is a good thing. See if he has that cuke now. Bruh. Bruh. Ooh. It's looking pretty good. One, two, three, four. That's tough. I, this isn't necessarily going to hit. Again, according to statistics, this should this this will just prevent five damage from hitting. So I think we're saving it again. Yep. So now we have it this turn. Also conjured something, which is cool. 
It's just giving us a little bit more steam to potentially put out this game. He's actually going to have seven health here, though. Ugh. That Allosaurus. Oh, boy. <clears throat> it would have been nice to play this Pogo. But five and five wins. Not anymore. Not anymore, it don't. So we are one off lethal now. This has got to be right. This has got to be. He'll be down to two now. It just makes a bunch of things. No! Okay. Block me and everybody. I guess that makes sense. <coughs> Pepper MD there. Pop it. So. So it's... We used Walnut already, right? Walnut, Heal, Super, and Bubble. Did he use Super already? I remember. Oh, that's pretty good. Plus he has Blockbuster. It's super. Making another play next turn important? Is him not healing more important? It could be him, the, the amount that this will heal makes it better to bounce even more than that. But I don't know. Hard to say. It's kind of messed up that neither of our mixed ups are in either of the strike through lanes here that would have helped. A mug would have really, probably would have put him away. Now he can, he can do a lot. Ugh. I don't think Gargburn's a very good deck. The fact that in the tournament people were using Gargburn instead of Z-Mech, uh, trick Mac, for example, has made my life so much easier. Ah, now we have no field. You know what? I, I probably would be in much better shape if I had all this kind of money. Looks like we're gonna lose this. I found that this Pogo Yeti Mug, it doesn't do enough damage against this. It feels like even a Leap Strat would have been the way to go, but just didn't get the cards. There's the Grey Buster finally. And it happens to be on the Mug, it's so stupid, bro. Yeah. More heals. Is there some miracle that happens when we play this? Okay. Seems like an average inch of dimensional transformation, it's just the way to. We actually are still alive. We top deck this pot. Can go a long way. the healing one. Uh... 
probably just pass. Bro. Well, I don't know about that. Um, so, like, bomb bonus attack we're doing? <laughs> bomb more like blob. It's guaranteed. Alright. Taking the L. Unlike your mom, who's taking the B. <laughs> Why? Completely unnecessary. <laughs> Honestly, I probably should have let my mug die and bounce the Allosaurus. That's healing. We would have had a lane to play a mug. We we top decked the mug. If I would have known that, it would have been easy. But... Yeah, this isn't the same guy, is it? That would be. That's a cool curve. Let's see if oh, it doesn't even matter if he plays one though. Oh boy, here we go. Come on, Trapper. That's the wrong guy. found heal. That even happened in the tournament once. Someone ran like a heal pile against like mid tuna and it, it did well because I just wasn't able to do enough damage. Like unless you get yetis and a lot of bonus attacks like, or, or leaps. You know what? We just didn't like get those big minions stacked and it wasn't just heal. He was controlling us too. He had a lot of removal on that thing. So, so yeah. I think this one we sack and we'll just play another pogo next turn. <laughs> Pogo, more like bro, no. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Uh, I think they're doing two more. Here it's been. <laughs> what did I just say? What did I just say? Stupid. Let's try to bounce over you, please, here, anyway. <coughs> Super and Walnut, I guess, help him. Heal does not. Bubble duck. Team ups? <sighs> Still lame. I'll just get this and then mug. We'll have a better mug. We have plenty of wind more in our hand. Yeah. I also could go for a laser here. Should, for the for the area, I mean. Should I go for the area? <coughs> Should probably just mug. Um, we should probably play this too. Trickster. Trickster. Why did I check that third grade soon? I don't know. <sighs> Comes better. What is he doing? Bro. So we'll let these trades so I can continue to play the game.
What the hell? No one likes you, Mr. Grinch. I don't think this pogo surviving is imperative. Sleeping this looks good. Budget control deck. Budget control is hard because what do you use as your win condition card? Usually any card that costs five or more and, you know, to count as a control deck, they'd be strong late game finishers. They're almost all legendaries. Uh, I'm trying to think of an exception. I mean, if you count budget mid rows, which I do have on YouTube, so that's sort of like a control deck. Uh, we end up finishing off with, like, Tricorn and stuff. Check that out. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I feel like this doing five bullseye is gonna win the game, because we just win otherwise. You're so annoying, bro. So now we can only play one of these. This is seven, eight, yeah. Yay. Would Iron Border be broken if it, if you teleported then? Yeah, it would be better for sure. It's broken even now. <laughs> it's already broken. One costs two, three bullseye that grows. If it's put in an environment, like what? It's so broken. The whole thing of HG is he just doesn't have one drops, and his superpowers make him guess that one drops. Absolutely. Positively. Mog's a one drop. Not a fan. That's fine. We need to not California roll. Thank you, Dink Meme, Steel Beam. Extended their tier one subscription through November. Thank you. Should be fine. No, this is not fine. That sucks. This actually is pretty bad. It's just propping blocking too much. Get frozen. Mr. Grinch. What the heck am I saying? What the heck is this man even? What does he even say? Do I use this? I don't think so. The goodness is he only has the two cards. Good news is we have a pogo. I'll just let this die. Greetings from Croatia, hello. Bruh. I don't feel like giving him this back, actually. Akshari. You're a mean one. Mr. Grinch. That forces us to freeze us if we put it in. 
<coughs> it's a pogo dying in there. Shine. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky. You know how I feel. Almost always freezing this turn. So it's probably good to make this trade in Emma. <laughs> you know how I feel. It's a deal. It's a new day, it's a new life for me. And I'm feeling good. I say we just crowd Yeti him until he kicks the bucket. <laughs> until he kicks the bucket, boy. What is with these bounces? We're still gaining the card advantage. He's not doing all anything, too. He's doing one damage per turn. He's ramping to nothing. We really do not have to do this, yeah. Talking our block. Thank you very much. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky. Mm -hmm. Drag gun. That's a lot of damage. We also have the pogo for next turn. Probably just pogo getting. Sun in the sky. Bro, <laughs> he had no choice. The man did not have a choice. Dying and playing Mug would have been good. Eh, we can still bonus attack. We'll really be able to play both of these. Anyway. Go to five the seventeen thirteen. <laughs> Maybe it's freeze. Maybe it's freeze. That looks like that's it. Pretty good deck. <laughs> I almost feel like there's something that we can put in beside leaps. Maybe we'll switch it up just for the last game now that the bets are settled. <clears throat> I almost feel like this wasn't good. There, there's just something else that we can put. Just some more like tempo early game or something like that. You know what would legit be good in a deck like this? Okay, let's try something completely different for the last game. This is anyway a deck that I wanted to do, so yeah, we'll, we'll give this a shot. It's gonna be Headstone Carver, which kind of seems obvious in this deck. And then we'll run... Um... You, you, you end up with a lot of ones anyway. Uh, they necessarily need the raptors. Yeah. 
It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. Oh, me, and I'm feeling good. Mm -hmm. was yes 72 said yes and I'm feeling good anything else to run on one we end up with ones anything that works together with the superpowers really well this deck looks complete which is kind of neat actually developing our own tempo. Can run a couple of these. It's worth it. There's just nothing to cover it, really. But it's a 1 cost 2 2 pirate. And I'm feeling good. Yeah, I'm feeling good. Birds flying high instead. Instead for the freeze? Instead for the freeze synergy? <laughs> I, I think that's a terrible idea. But A plus for creativity. I would almost run shark instead of instead in this deck. Turn shark. Something like this. You know what I feel. Alright. This will be a, a deck maybe for an entire stream another day, but we'll do this for game 10 just to try it out. It's not called Meeps anymore though, it's called... It's called Myrids. <laughs> I mean, how about this guy for freeze synergy? Now, once you have environment set up, I, I really did find this getting a lot of value late in games. The 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 freeze the, the freeze pirate it does have pirate synergy. It does work with everything. That's actually not bad. It's almost like having extra kind of like extra bonus attacks or something. I like it. I like it. Very very well. Very well indeed. Make this deck list. Game 10. A little bit weak to blockbusters. This is I haven't run Headstone Carbron, ironically, in a really long time. Oh boy. Is this good? Um, I love this because now you're actually hitting, instead of Con Man, you're actually hitting their face and then eating the block meter up. Probably better to actually look for a late game. Dig for a late game card. That's fine. The mug is good. Oh, I like the mug. Let's so go here. Let's play a super. I love this. This is so great. Two cost three four. Eat the block meter charge that this dumb headstone carver charged up last turn. This is also a must answer card. This is great. Great. Fantastic. Eh. Oh, we're gonna get the brim too. The brim. <laughs> um Yeah, it's better. No brim tonight. Uh maybe I should have gone here. Probably this in one and then this one. That's fine. The damage is done. This is a 4. Speaking of done, that was a 4-4 four, four on turn 2. Ridiculous. This traded with his 2-dra. This really is a must-answer card, so it's a control card in its own right. And HG superpowers are all broken AF, so... Plus you have other turn 1 plays. I really hope the V-neck keeps going. getting deeper and deeper. 
What is this? 10 months. The V-neck. <laughs> this is just an old t-shirt. It's just so floppy. I agree. You just want to see my boobs. I know. I know how it is. Listen, we all have hormones. It's fine. It's time to shine. God damn it. He did Kelly roll though. It's definitely this one. We have like nothing to teleport in this day. Am I still running? No, I'm not running raptors anymore. There's nothing to teleport. Remember that one time your opponent got three court return from Sidney. What a weird glitch. What? Why is he bonusing? It grows anyway, bro. Overkill. The swash is getting enough value here. <laughs> Trick or treater from Seedling, though, yes. Dead a kiss. If for some reason Seedling, when they when they added trick or treater to the game, they forgot to like, they just put it in as a token. They didn't put it in as a zombie, so then plants would start turning into it and getting really confused. You shine. You know how I feel. Sun in the sky. You know. Cucumber is a great card at 1 4. Thank you, duct tape, for the 64. Nintendo 64. Your mom is a. Oh. Monkeys. Get him with the monkeys. Mom looks so funkus. That's guaranteed. He needs time to shine, but he, he used time to shine. Easies. He is protected. How about your face? All right, guys. That's gonna be all for today. Dang, is it so late? It's Six o'clock already. What the heck? Oh no. All right, that was really great though. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just <laughs> to be somewhere very soon. Uh, you're just gonna end the stream there. Hope you guys enjoyed though. That was an amazing deck. We did mostly meeps and turned into myrits at the end. Uh, but that was that was absolutely fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was amazing. Peace. This is Fry.